Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Donnie here, and I'm back with another installment of my classic TV Spotlight series. So, coming up, uh, we have uh, Labor Day weekend, where holiday where we honor the working people of America. So, I figured it was appropriate to talk about some of my favorite workplace sitcoms. Um, so, before I get into the specific shows, I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the workplace sitcom in general. It's uh, very fascinating. Uh, um, and it's no surprise that how the workplace has been kind of ripe for comedy and has kind of been a go-to method for many sitcoms through the years. Um, because think of the scenario when it comes to workplaces. you got all these different people together, people from different walks of life, different backgrounds, and different personalities. And you kind of put them all together. They're forced together in this situation that, you know, Every day, pretty much, and it, you know, so with all these different personalities being together in one place, it you know is kind of right for comedy, and it, you know can really make some great uh, scenarios uh, for, um, to laugh at. Uh, you know, and the vast majority of adults, you know, either have a job or did at some point, so. It can be easily relatable. Um, I was thinking about you know sitcoms are generally relatable. You have family sitcoms, you know, because people can relate to being a part of family or friend friendship and or relationship type uh, sitcoms. You know, they're very common. You know, the workplace is no no different here um, because. <laughs> You know, that even if you're watching a show that takes place in a workplace, you know, you may not work in that specific industry that's in it, but we can all kind of relate to different um, different things that happen there. You know, you can relate to the overbearing boss or the co-worker who gossips all the time or... You know, the co-worker that becomes your best friend or or in-office romances and that. You know, it's pretty common. So you can identify things, and it, you know, and it makes for a great comedy. So now I'm going to talk about the different shows. Uh, the first show is a show from the 1980s uh, called Night Court. It was about the night shift of a New York City courthouse. You know, and... In a city such a, as big as New York, with so many people and so much crime, you know, it's pretty common that you would have to have an after-hours court, you know, to kind of make the process, the legal process, go as smoothly as popular as possible. That you know, it's not like it's not like Mayberry or something. You know, they're gonna. It is necessary, but. The thing is, with this courtroom, that even though it's like criminals, it's not exactly hard-hitting, gritty crimes we saw uh, showcased on it on that show. Uh, it was very, you know, it's kind of uh, small, petty crimes like petty theft or drunken bar fights or uh, vandalism or or even prostitution and that, you know, so. It was very like lighthearted and could make like you know they'd have this kind of rose gallery of different uh, uh, defendants coming up th through it, and they all you know a lot of them were over the top or crazy personalities. So it was a fun little silly show. We had Harry Anderson who played the judge, Harry Stone, John Larroquette played the uh, sexist and the womanizing. Um, uh, prosecutor Dan Fielding. Uh, you had Marky Post, who was the uh, who was the uh, defense attorney. You know, and the, and the clerk Mac, the the clerk, and the uh, and the bailiffs and all that. So it was a very uh, it was a fun little silly show. And one interesting thing I I heard about it was they talk is that. A lot of legal experts said that the na the night court was one of the most realistic portrayals of the legal fields on, in television. 
because it dealt with all these kind of small time crimes that, you know, when you see legal shows on that and, you know, cop shows or whatever that, you know, they're always dealing with these like major, major crimes and, you know, like murders and rapes and kidnappings and robberies and big white collar crimes and, you know, stuff, you know, you know, all these big, you know, these big monumental crimes and that when in actuality they may be few and far between that a lot of the courtroom processes with these, you know, smaller petty crimes. So it, it said it was uh, pretty realistic, which I found pretty interesting. Um, and next workplace to come is another show from the 80s. It was a show I grew up watching on, on Nick at Night uh, called New Heart. It starred Bob Newhart, who in the 1970s, he had his own uh, sitcom called The Bob Newhart Show, where he played a psychiatrist. And then in the 80s, he had this other, this other show where he plays a uh, an inn owner. He owns his own inn along with his wife uh, in a small town in Vermont. And Bob Newhart kind of plays this kind of... Uh, this straight man character, he's kind of this normal, humble guy, surrounded by all these quirky personalities and offbeat characters in, uh, of this small town. You know, some of the ones, the famous ones, is uh, Larry, Daryl, and Daryl, uh, the three brothers. And they would always introduce themselves every time they come on, and, Larry, you know, Larry would say, Hi, I'm Larry, this is my brother Daryl, this is my other brother Daryl. You know, so it kind of made great comedy, comedy where you had like all these off, offbeat characters, and you know, balanced with the uh, normal characters of Dick and his wife and his wife, and uh, you know, and I've got to study that. It talks about like the straight man and comic relief and in, in comedy is kind of a go-to method for comedy, so it, it makes for. A lot of the great laughs, and I used to love watching the show. And I wish it would come on a uh, channel or something. Um, if anyone knows if you've ever seen it on, you know, reruns on a channel, let me know. <laughs> uh, and the other one I got, the other workplace sitcom I'm going to talk about is a show that there's some debate over whether it's a sitcom or not, but I do kind of consider it as kind of a comedy drama type. It was a little show from the 70s and 80s called The Love Boat. Uh, the Love Boat, you know, it's not a traditional sitcom. Like I mentioned, it's uh, it's an hour long as opposed to a half hour. And, you know, had some dramatic parts to it as well. It was about a cruise ship. And he had the, big, and he had the crew, he had the captain stooping. And the uh, go for the yeoman purser and Julie, the cl cruise director, and also the doctor and the bartender, you know, and each episode featured major guest stars. They were some of the biggest stars, movie stars, TV stars of that, of that time and from way before and that, and, you know, kind of, it was <laughs> a joke that like everyone and their mother was on the love boat at some point, at least once, sometimes some people were in it multiple times and, uh, and each episode typically featured about three different storylines. Uh, first one was uh, would be like a silly uh, comic storyline. This would this would generate the most laughs. You would have you know just something you know real silly, not you know that serious. And then on the opposite end, you would have a uh, a more serious uh, subject. Uh, with, you know, a serious romance story with very little laughs. And then kind of in the middle, you had one, who, one would be kind of like a romantic comedy, a flirtatious type, type one. So there was a little something for everybody. Now, sometimes the staff would be directly involved in a storyline. Other times they're just kind of, help, you know, helping the people, move them along, you know, and help and guide them to do whatever the needs to get done while still doing their jobs, per se. You know, so it's a fun little entertaining show that I watch every Sunday on MeTV. Uh, so so that's about it. Uh, those are some of my favorite workplace sitcoms. Uh, let me know.
let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite workplace sitcoms. And, you know, are there any sitcoms that you can really relate to that, you know, are very, you know, that are very realistic to whatever job you're working on or working in? Um, let me know. Or, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all the works. And until next time, take it easy. <laughs>